Mikey Reedy, you have no fucking right to come at anybody and talk to anybody about brotherhood. You want you want to know something? You want to know what brotherhood is? Brotherhood is sticking your neck out for someone after they've screwed up. Someone who looks out for the, one of their friends because they care about their career and they didn't want to see them just sink into nothingness and be a face that everybody forgets. Right, Mikey? I gave you a UCWA contract last January. In 2019. I was there and I helped you win your first world championship. I had your back through thick and through thin. And then one night, one day, you thought you were bigger than Logan Bryce. You were bigger than Oblivion. You were bigger than anything and anyone you ever came in contact with. So you know what you did? You took Cliff, a ball bat wrapped in chain. And hit me. And took me out of action. And betrayed our brotherhood. He took the knife, a metaphorical knife, and stabbed me in the back. But you want to you wanna know something? I still found a way to give you my respect back. Because you went on to win the UCWA Valor Hardcore and World Championships on the same damn day. From me. Okay, you didn't win the Hardcore and Valor Championships, but you... You became the world champion, the UCWA world champion, by beating me, which that match was for all three titles. You became the first man to hold all three titles in UCWA. And I respected you. But then you went on to walking around like, oh, my shit doesn't stink. I'm bigger than everyone here. I'm the biggest star this company has. This company would fail without me. And then Survival War came. And I offered the olive branch, and I wanted you on my survival war team. And then Nicole became general manager of UCWA, and you didn't want to be a part of the brand anymore. You couldn't make up your mind whether you wanted to be a part of my survival war team or not. Mikey, I don't like people who can't make up their fucking minds. So you know what I did? I played back that day that you turned your back on me. But you stabbed me in the back. And I did the exact same thing to you at Survival War 1. And good old lucky me, because guess what? The way Survival War ended last year with me kicking your ass is the same way that Survival War 2's match will start. Because I already made it clear that I was starting Survival War for my team. But I was also informed earlier today that I will be facing you to start the match. How about that? I get to kick your ass again for the second year in a row at Survival War. I guess the crowd wants an encore. I guess the board of directors wants to see me do it again. You see, that's not the only bone I have to pick with you, Mikey. I've got another bone to pick with you. You came at Jared Weathers, a man who's well-respected. He's a great interviewer. I've been on his show multiple times for those... Pop quizzes for wrestling for trivia. I've been on there. Because they're fun. You wouldn't know because you've never been on there. I've been interviewed several times by Jared. You wouldn't know because you're not a big enough fucking star anymore to be interviewed by Jared. You want to 
throw around, throw shade at Jared for calling you guys a redneck spirit squad. I want to let you in on a little secret. Jared's not the one that called you a redneck spirit squad. I'm the one that called the Outer Circle a redneck spirit squad. And you want to know why? Because you are the reason behind me calling them a redneck spirit squad. You know, your, your name should not be Mikey. Your name should be Nikki. Because you're just a freaking failed wrestling experiment just like Dolph fucking Ziggler. Mikey, you just can't get the big ones done anymore. I beat your ass how many times this year? I stopped you from winning Rags to Riches. I stopped you from recapturing the Valor Championship for a third time in your career. You can't get the big ones done, and it's obvious. Bringing back to the Spirit Squad analogy with Nikki, a.k.a. Dolph Ziggler, you're just a failed wrestling experiment. All your potential and all your hype left when you left UCWA. When you died off the face of the planet and got released, that's when your potential sunk to the bottom. So Mikey, are you going to put up or are you going to keep running your mouth? You see, and I've got one more thing to pick on you about. You called Mr. Eric Tyler Mullins a washed up legend. Well, at least he is a legend. Unlike you, who has to clinch on to legends like Clay Mercer, Hunter Becker, and Dustin Little, and Bob Broder, and Nicole Little, to keep your relevancy high enough to make people think that's what you're going to be, is a legend. Because, Mikey, you clinged onto my back all year last year. You rode my coattails all year last year to even be a spark in this revolution. You want to come at me, Reedy's revolution. Reedy, you're not, you are nothing but old yeller. And at Survival War, I'm going to come back and I'm going to take Old Yeller down by the river. Out behind the woodshed and put him out of his fucking misery. Because quite frankly, I'm tired of seeing you. Eric Tyler Mullins is not a washed up legend. Eric Tyler Mullins has done more in this backyard than you'll ever do. Eric Tyler Mullins is more respected than you are. Mikey, just like I retired my mentor Eric Tyler Mullins, who is also my advocate, I'm going to retire your ass. Just like I should have retired you at full circle in 2019. Just like I should have retired you at the last event. I should have retired you a redemption. But now, this is going to be bittersweet. Because what do wolves do? Wolves win wars, Mikey. And you want the war. You've got the fucking war. So tell your little outer circles to tighten up their boots. Because the dark wolf is going to howl. And the dark wolf lodge is going to howl. So boys, beware the howl. Because the Dark Wolf Lodge isn't far behind. See you at Survival War. Reedy.